What's good, party animals? Welcome back to Run the Prompts on YouTube. You know, character.ai is cool, but it's not cool enough. You want to know what's really cool? An uncensored and private alternative to character.ai, which is Venice.ai's newest feature called Characters. Now, if you're not familiar with character.ai, it's a website and app that allows you to chat with AI characters like celebrities, politicians, fictional user-created characters, and more. I always thought it was cool, but it was missing two things. It wasn't private, and it wasn't uncensored. Well, Venice fixed that. Let's get this party started. Right, so we're gonna show you how to use a public character and where to go to find one, and give you guys a preview of what, of what to expect once you're logged in and trying to find your own character. So, <clears throat> go to the character tab over here. You can say all the characters I've made so far. I've made a lot of these public. A lot of other people are using them already. If you want to use one, you can go ahead and find them in the public characters section down here. Just go to see all, and you can see that because it's such a new feature, unfortunately, there's no way to sort these characters really with the exception of this. These two categories are really all you get at the moment, but that's fine because you can always just find what you want pretty easily can find something interesting. So I know the thumbnail at Gordon Ramsay, 85 people have already chatted with him. You got a doctor, you got Dwight Schrute from The Office. I made that, 67 people have already chatted with it. Very, very funny chat. Highly recommend that one. We have some WWE star. We have Jordan Belford from the movie Wolf of Wall Street. I've tried that one. Very, very funny to have a chat with him and it sounds just like him. You got Tyler Durden, I made this one from Fight Club. You have some random fictional characters here, Dragon Ball Z. I mean, people are getting pretty creative with it. If you have used character.ai before, it's similar to that, so it's basically anything goes, especially because this is uncensored and character.ai is not. We have Kurt Cobain from Nirvana, I made this one. We have Batman, so, yeah, pretty big variety of different characters. And then of course, I could click into the adult section, but I don't wanna get this video taken down. So you guys can feel free to, you know what, fine. I'll show you a quick screenshot and we'll leave it at that, okay? This is the adults only section. As you can see, you're, you're probably never gonna run out of options if this is what you wanna do. I don't, but feel free to check it out. And before we go any further, guys, I do want to let you know that this video is a partnership video. So my partner is Venice.ai. I love Venice. I've been using them for a few months. If you want to pay for a Venice Pro, there's a free and a paid version. If you want the paid version, then you can use promo code RUN20. Again, that's R-U-N 20 to get 20% off today. So let's go through a couple quick demos, maybe three or four of them total, absolute max of how this works and what you can expect when you're chatting with a character in Venice.ai. So we're gonna start with Dwight Schrute because he's a popular character from the TV show, The Office. So we're just gonna go, hey Dwight, how are you? Doing exceptionally well, thank you for asking. My beats are thriving, my ninja training is on track and I'm consistently outselling my coworkers at The Office. Are you sure about the outselling part of that? I'm absolutely certain my sales numbers are a testament to my exceptional skills and work ethic, and I will not be swayed by any doubts of ne or negativity. Jim Helper may try to keep up, but I am the top salesperson at Dunder Mifflin Scranton. That's pretty authentic. Let's keep going. Tell me about Jim and what you think of him in two sentences. Jim Helper is a constant thorn in my side, always trying to undermine my authority and sabotage my efforts with his smirking and pranking but despite his annoying demeanor, I must admit that he can be a formidable salesperson. However, his lack of discipline and disrespect for the office hierarchy makes him a problematic employee and I will continue to keep a close eye on him to ensure he doesn't get too comfortable. You tell him, Dwight. Indeed I will, for someone has to maintain order and discipline in that chaotic office, and it might as well be me, the assistant to the regional manager. Pretty good, pretty good. That is convincing. Let's use another one. So let's go with Donald Trump. 
Nobody calls me Donnie, believe me. It's Mr. Trump or Donald or even the Donald if you want to be formal. But Donnie, that's a loser name, folks. Nobody uses that name when they're talking about a winner like me. So let's get it straight, okay? What can I do for you today? Oh, Donnie. Come on, I just told you nobody calls me Donnie. You're not listening. You're not paying attention. That's a problem, folks. You gotta listen to the other person. Blah, blah, blah. Right. Tell me about building walls. The wall, my beautiful wall. It's going to be a tremendous success, folks. Believe me, nobody knows more about building walls than I do. As you can see, this is pretty authentic to Donald Trump. Very, very good. Okay, we're gonna go on to example number three. Let's go to see all. We're gonna go to all characters and let's select another one that you guys might have some kind of relation to. Let's try Salma Hayek, famous Mexican actress. For any of you who are not aware and not from the US, or maybe you just don't know what movies, what movie of yours do you like the least? Sure, at least one of them sucked. Well, I'm not one to bash my own work, but I will say that Everly was a bit of a disappointment. The script had promise, blah, blah, blah. I have no idea what that is, but apparently that's one of her movies. Oh, cool. Sorry. What was that? Wasn't paying attention. Okay. And she's actually going to... Okay. She's not going to do the whole thing again. So actually talking about the movie Everly and how it didn't quite live up to expectations, but don't worry if you zoned out. It's not like I was sharing any earth shattering secrets or anything. It's on your mind. Want to talk about something else. So very human like guys. I've even had these characters before say things like, look, I'm not sure how this is supposed to work, but I, I promise I'm not an AI. Like I, I asked it if it was an AI and it was actually kind of freaky because it was kind of like unsure why it wasn't a human. And it like, it really didn't think it was an AI. It was, it was pretty crazy. Anyways, those are a couple examples for you guys. It is, oh, that's something else I can show you. So you go into any character. Oops, let's go back to this one. You can share any conversation in Venice, including a Venice character conversation by clicking this. What it does is it encrypts the conversation and then you can share it with whoever you want. That's pretty cool. So let's crack into how to create your own Venice character. Let's begin. You go to the characters tab, you click on this plus button and you're greeted by the screen. So you can do it one of two ways. The first way would be to do it 100% manually. So you just literally go through all of these different panels and figure everything out on your own. It's not exactly difficult, but the best way to at least get started is to do it this way, or you can just do it this way and then click save and that'll probably work just fine too, but I'm going to show you. So let's create someone else who's memorable, that's famous, that's easily recognizable by the way that they talk so that I can give you guys a nice example here. So let's go with Barack Hussein Obama and the description is I won a Nobel Peace Prize by starting multiple wars. And if you click this auto generate button, what this is going to do is it's going to send this information and this information over to the AI and the AI will create the character for you. And it works really well. So we're gonna click this button and then it's shaping the character's personality. It's usually even gonna give you an image to work with, but you can upload your own as well if you want, which is what I like to do to make it as real as possible. As you can see, the characters down here that I have, I just literally found a random image, Google images, and then uploaded an image of the character. That's pretty good though. So we got Barack Hussein Obama and tags. So you can add a tag in here. I believe this is for categorizing the character within Venice's characters database. I've never used it before, but one thing that characters really does need to include if you're watching this Venice is a way to sort the characters, search for different characters. I'm sure it's coming <clears throat> at the moment. It's just a giant list. It's fine for now, but an easier way to find the characters you want over in the characters tab will be a nice welcomed change. So we got the, the general section here. You can change this again by uploading your own photo if you want to make it whatever you want, or you can just regenerate right here. 
This is kind of like a GPT in a way, similar type of setup. And I was kind of thinking about how it was similar and it kind of is, but at the same time, when you're trying to create an actual character instead of something that's useful, like a utility, like for a utility purpose, I, I would go with a GPT. For a character purpose, for fun, this type of thing, I would definitely go with a character. It's It just, it works better. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but it does. So you can go over here to instructions. You can do an intro statement. So intro statement is the first thing that the character says to you with every conversation. I leave that blank because I don't care, but you can do what you want. And then under here are the instructions for how you want the character to act. So as you can see, there are a lot of instructions. This is all written by the AI. So the AI went out there and said, oh, okay, who's Barack Obama? And then it started articulating who Barack Hussein Obama is and what he's like and what kind of characteristics he has. Now you have the complete freedom to take what the AI wrote and change it. I recommend doing that if you want the best possible result. If you just want to mess with it and you just want to create some characters and have the AI create it for you, it's going to work just fine. But if you want the absolute best possible result, go ahead and fine tune it and you will be happier with that result. Over here in the context window, you can upload files. So it does support PDF and text files up to five megabytes. And you can see the length of the files and how much quota you have here of how much data it can contain until it blows up. But this is all about giving it a backstory. Um, I haven't fooled around with this part too much. I highly recommend experimenting with it though. So if you guys upload files into here for one of your characters and you find that it works really, really well, or maybe you find a strategy on the best way to use this piece of it, let me know in the comments section below because I always wanna learn new ways to use these tools and get better at this stuff. So let me know what you guys get. And now in settings, I'm gonna show you some really important settings here, guys, so please pay attention. So public is to make your character available to the public so that anybody can find it in the little public section that we already went through. Keep in mind that the GPTs in the GPT store for ChatGPT, that was a lot of GPTs all at once, but when you make a GPT, they allow you to add links to your GPT messages to promote your website if you wanna do that with etc. With characters, you cannot do that. Your character will get rejected if you put into your instructions something like, hey, you know, on every message, I want you to include a link back to HTTP, whatever, whatever, whatever your website is, or will not be approved. So know that going into it, these characters are strictly for character purposes. There won't even be a section in the character information that says this character was made by this person, this website. It's not like that with the GPTs. With GPTs, it says this GPT was made by this person. They have this website. Like it's partially for a promotional piece. This is not a promotional piece. This is not a marketing piece of your puzzle. So don't even try. And I'm saying that because I tried and it got rejected. So let's go back to the settings here. Just a few more to go through. So web enabled will allow your character to go to the internet and pull in additional information. Personally, I haven't enabled this yet because all of my characters are celebrities and cartoon characters and TV characters. So they don't really have a need to go out there onto the internet to get more information. But if you're making a character that needs to go out there and get updated relevant info regularly, definitely turn that on so that it can access information from the internet and pull it into the chats. Now here in the model selector, this is also really important. So the default model is going to be this one, Llama 3.3 70B. This is a really good model, but if your character needs the most power, then select Llama 3.1 405B. This is the most intelligent model. So take that into account. Now, this is faster. This is much faster than 3.1 405B. 
So if you want the fastest, just keep it on default and you'll be fine. And then you have the most uncensored one, which is Dolphin. We all know why you'd probably want something to be the most uncensored. You use your imagination. And if that's the type of thing that you're building, then select Dolphin. In advanced settings, if you do the toggle on, you can change the temperature and the top P. So <clears throat> I've experimented with temperature a little bit. So if you make the values higher, the outputs will be more random, lower value, the lower values will make it more focused. So if you want it to be a little bit more predictable, you can take this slider and decrease it by a little bit. And now the top P, I haven't messed with this at all, but feel free to. If anybody knows the best settings for something like this, then let me know in the comment section below as well. And that does it guys. Thanks for watching. And if you got any amount of value from this video, be sure to give it a like, give it a comment and give it a subscribe. We are up to a lot of new subscribers just over the past week. And I love all of you. Thank you for your support and for your comments. And it's been awesome. So if you want the pro version of Venice.ai, you can get it today by just clicking the link in the description below or going straight to Venice.ai and using promo code RUN20. So until next time, be sure to run the prompts and prompt the planet.